damn it what's wrong with you sit your ass down sit down shut up what up ladies and gentlemen my name is danny divine welcome to the danny divine show today we're going to talk about smartphones technology and 5g ish so this is like a news ish but also not news now two days ago i was looking at the news and i saw the government came and says that anyone that's talking about 5g and saying that 5g cause any health issues is basically fucking lying it's the government they're here to fucking lie to you they will tell you everything you want they want to tell you it's up to you to fucking make your mind up and see what you want so look they can tell you whatever they want to tell you it's up to you to believe it if they say to you 5g is saving you and you believe that crap hey my friend go for it do whatever you want to do these things they get signals in they can make you sick carry my babies and i don't want my babies to die <laughs> no jokes but i don't want my babies to die if this shit is carrying radiation if i got two of this in my pocket that's me killing my babies twice <laughs> <laughs> so nope <laughs> it ain't happening i rather hold it or I put it in a bag or my little tiny bag that i'm carrying around oh sometimes i just put it in my pocket knowing that i would definitely kill my babies <laughs> but yes putting this phone in your pocket is murder to your nuts this is i think the reason why you have so much should i just say balls cancer <laughs> this is the reason why i'm you have a lot of uh, men having cancer down there. Anyway, I think maybe it's because we put in our phones too much, too close, this and that. And I think most of the time when women put their phones a lot by the bra, I'm not saying, I'm just, I'm just guessing. I'm not saying that's true. I don't have any scientific uh, explanation about this. I'm just saying maybe, maybe that could be the case, maybe. So what I'm going to do, we're going to watch TED today. And this one is called Wireless Wake Up Call and the person that's speaking today his name is jeremy johnson you can watch him on ted i'll also put the link down there so you can check the link and then he's going to explain to you guys what's happening with wireless technology and all the stuff the information with a little bit of my own sense of spin onto it but let's go and let's do this if they have a wireless smart meter on their own okay and who has their smartphone in their pocket right read the fine print in your owner's manual that says that the smartphone should never be within about an inch of the body. Nobody reads that. So today I'm going to speak to why we can no longer assume that our wireless technology is safe. Technology has allowed us many benefits. This connected us to people and to places, and it's brought us convenience that few could have imagined just just ten years ago. We we as human beings we're developing as life goes on. We're creating new stuff. We we are innovators. We're here to innovate ourselves and bring some new some new some new some new brilliant ideas on the table that people people might think. My 50 years ago, if you go back and you tell people five just coming out, they'll tell you, shut up, you're lying. But yo, technology has gone far. But sometimes with innovation comes also problems. So if you have something like this, like a 5G they're building around and it's gonna be around, but next two years, everything's gonna be 5G. They can be all the way in America and using a robot and fighting wars. So they don't have to use people no more. People don't have to die no more, which is a great thing, which is a great thing. But we just have to look at the health problems that come with it. How is this going to affect us as human beings in the future? Is this going to benefit us more or is it just going to cause us more harm and more problems? Let's go. It's also brought us tremendous economic benefits. If we can look at how technology has increased in our lives in just the last eight years, it started with the iPhone and then tablet computing, ubiquitous Wi-Fi, the smart meter and the smart home, and wearable tech, and now the Internet of Things. If we can affect our bodies, that's the question I want to ask. Because the and that's the most important thing. 
we have to talk about how is this going to affect our body? How is this going to infect our health? It does. It's not. It's not. It's not as like, oh yeah, he's just bashing 5G. He doesn't know what she's talking about. Mate, everybody knows what they're talking about. I'm not here to tell people, yeah, hate 5G, go and burn things down. I'm not saying that. I'm only saying like, we need to ask ourselves these questions because at the end of the day, I am not going to be here maybe 30 years from now or 25 years from now. I don't know when my, my calling day is for me to go up in the sky, heaven, wherever I'm going. I don't know. But right now, all I know is this. I s- as long as I'm alive, I will do everything I can do to share this information with people that want to listen. You know, like if you have the government coming out saying to you, 5G is okay, you can just use it as much as you want. It's not going to hurt you. Okay. Yeah. But that does not mean they're safe. Your government also lies, you know. Trust me. The biggest keepers of secrets in this world is your government. And government, they are good in fucking lying. This is why they come up with laws. This is why they come up with laws whereby you're not allowed to open your mouth and say shit about the government. If you work in the government, you have to sign certain fucking papers, this and that. This is why they come up with laws. One of my favorite actresses, I don't know her name no more. Beautiful, beautiful English woman. She plays this role in this movie. And she is, she, I mean, this woman is brilliant. She's, I mean, woman is something. <laughs> um, she plays this role. And... This lady was going was going, was getting prosecuted by the English government because they started a coup in Iraq. That's how the Iraq war started. And you can also read American papers. It's all about it. When this shit came out, Tony Blair had to fucking resign. Because if they didn't drop the case for the woman, you know what was gonna happen? Then the public will find that the government actually lied about a war that started in the country that they're fighting that it shouldn't even be there. Using the English taxpayers' money, using the English army to go and fight a war that England has nothing to do with. And it was all about fucking oil. And then they tell you that the government is always being honest with you. Listen, your government doesn't have your fucking best will in their fucking mind. I'm telling you this. If you think I'm lying, watch. Shit that's going on right now with this corona. Do you really think they have your fucking best will in their mind? No, because if they did, if they did, this is what would happen. If the government had your best will in the mind they would say listen we got corona we're gonna give everybody 80 percent pay then no one have to pay their rent no one have to pay their council tax people who have to go to work they're gonna get extra money from the bosses they're gonna get full pay and an extra bonuses because they have put in their life on the line nhs workers they're all gonna get fucking bonuses because they're putting their life on the line this is the shit that your government do for you when they actually think they fucking you you deserve this shit but if you don't des- if your government doesn't even like you they will say to you we'll give you 80 percent stay at home but you're thinking to yourself i'm staying at home how the fuck am i have to pay my rent Okay, you got your landlord knocking on your door. Mate, I need my rent. You need to pay your money. This was uh, this one is about an America, a school in America where kids are getting cancer because of a uh, um, a phone tower, the, a telephone tower that was close to the school. Right. So this thing is from CBS. You can watch it also. I recommend you to watch it. Weston Elementary School in Ripping claim the tower could have exposed their kids to harmful radiation. Sprint says the tower is safe and has operated well below federal safety limits. But the company turned it off anyway and plans to move it to a new location. Carter Evans spoke to the families at the center of the controversy. My son missed growing up with his friends. My son lost all of his hair. It's not something that I wish... I can't watch the whole thing because this whole thing is sad. But I recommend you to watch it. I will also place the link down on the description of this video. You can watch it. Take your time and give it a watch. I think it's a good video to watch. Now, let's go to these two couple that goes around. And they record the signals that's coming from a 5G towers in certain places. This, But this one, I think some of them, they go certain different places. I think some of them is in, in Sydney. But just to give you a general idea of, I love a good intro on a video. Now I'm saying. There's a 
5G cell just up there. I'm about 20 meters away. Just there, the 5G cell. Got this little nifty gizmo. Multi field EMF meter, RF strength 52. I think everybody should buy one of them and you can just basically scan all the towers around your area. So if you say, for instance, you're moving somewhere new and you see a tower, buy one of them first, scan it. If you see that the signal is too high, I recommend you not to move in there. It's up to you. Maybe you really want to live in there. You could die early, but hey, at least you got a nice house. 3.5 gigahertz. So this should encapsulate basic 5G. So it's already on max strength and I'm 20 meters away. And this phone that's recording it, by the way, is on airplane mode. So it's not affecting, but it's not being affected by the phone. So I'm 20 meters away and look at the waves. Maximum. 20 meters away. It's just constantly spiking up. What? Look at that spike. Wow. Oh my God. What is it doing? What is it doing? It, so it goes between 60% and over 100% every 10 seconds, is that it? Oh my god! Oh my god! You see the thing start beeping red and the tower is far away. Oh my god! I'm like, what's that? 20 minutes? So like I say, I'm gonna put this as a link down. You can also check it if you want. You know, it's all up to you what you wanna do. I'm just here to inform you that there were proof out there that this thing, this 5G thing is not 100% solid as the government is saying. Look, the government can tell you whatever they want to tell you, but don't trust the man. Okay? I mean, there's two type of different, of, there's two type of criminals in this world. There's the one who think they are gangsters who have like trousers down, talking all shit. Nah, I'm trying man shit, man, I'm fine, jump here. You have them. Then you have the gangsters, gangsters, the one that don't say shit, the one that have the suit on, looking all nice, got a fucking suitcase, uh, 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 a bag or, or, or whatever they're carrying around. They got up and they're all nice to you and they're talking to you with a beautiful accent, but they're the biggest criminals ever. And it's the same thing like your government. Your government can be nice, can be fucking good to you, but yeah, in the same time, every time you turn around, your government is doing this to you. Slapping the shit out of you because they will never tell you the truth. It doesn't matter. They will never tell you the truth. The only reason why all this 5G and everything wants to go up, you know why? Because they, they are racing against China. They are racing against China. They don't want China to have the next new fucking robot that don't, that don't go like, I am from the future. No, that goes like, fuck your mama. You don't know what I'm talking about. Da, 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 da. I'm a robot. I was made in China. Yeah, Chinese empire. What, 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 what you want to do? They don't want that shit. Nah, they want, they want this crazy shit. They want to beat China on the technology war they're having. This is the reason why. I'll... So take your time. We should this thing, man. I'm like, I'm not here to chat to you and tell you, oh yeah, that, 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 that. it's all up to you. I don't even want you to fucking press like or comment on this shit. I don't care what you do. If you want to like it, like. If you don't want to like it, don't like it. If you want to comment, just comment. Do whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you feel good. But I do thank you though for taking your time and come today and watch me. Yes, I'm representing Africa today. All oh, Africa. Nah, I mean. Nah, I mean. And I'm looking good. <laughs> anyway, my name is Donnie Divine. You guys have a nice day. And I'll see you guys on the next one.